and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and I am working in my bullet journal today in my camel traveller's notebook from Traveller's Company and I have some beautiful tulips that my sister gifted me, lovely spring flowers on my desk and last week I did this page with the fairy that I had done a watercolour painting of and I had a really busy week this week so I haven't done a video, I only did one video last week and it feels like ages since I chatted with you all, but it is only a week. <laughs> Just had a really busy, busy family week last week. And then I noticed after I'd filmed last week, I did this page for my focus of the week and I'd missed a page. So I've just done a little bit of a collage there because I didn't want to leave it blank. So if any of you have got any ideas of what I should do on this page that I mi accidentally missed out last week, please put it in the comments. Do any of you do that? Just like miss out pages by mistake. Okay, so my focus of the week was this card and it was a really good card for me to pick because it was all about triumphing, receiving acclaim, feeling pride, those kinds of things. And I thought she looked like she was dancing, but somebody put in the comments, she looks like she's jiggling, <laughs> which I thought was a really nice response. Anyway, I thought this was a great card for me to get last week because of the fact that I went to the premiere of my daughter's film. So they have, my eldest daughter has a dance school and because of COVID they'd made a film rather than doing a live performance and they'd taken the children outside in the fresh air to film and they did this big premiere of the film. They'd bought an enormous screen. It was in our local community centre. There was a red carpet spread out for the children to walk along, fairy lights everywhere. It was a really magical experience. And the film, I know I'm biased, but I thought it was amazing. I mean, the hours that they'd spent editing and creating special effects and so on. And so I was so proud of my daughters. I was also proud of my son who was starring in the film. And my granddaughters were also in the film. So it was a real strong feeling of family pride for me this week. So that's what I was focusing on, feeling pride. Of, uh, that pleasure that you get and the satisfaction when you or people connected to you have done something really good. And it's interesting because sometimes people think of pride as a sin, of, as a bad thing. And I think there are two kinds of pride. There's the sort of healthy pride that you feel when you should feel satisfaction at something well done. And that can be very motivating, can increase your confidence, it can increase your self-respect. And it's a really positive emotion. But there is, of course, also that kind of hubristic pride, which can lead to arrogance or snobbishness or being stuck up or boastful or conceited and that I think is the kind of pride that we don't like to see in people so I found it interesting to think about the difference between those two and I found lots of articles actually discussing the difference between two different kinds of pride which I'm looking forward to reading more closely so that was my focus of the week last week and now I'm all ready to start this week's bullet journaling so I want to begin I forgot to do my lines before I started so I might just cut it out. <laughs> so they're not all the same size, but I don't mind. And let's just have a look and see if I've got anything I need to put in my planner this week. So we are still in March. It's the last week of March or oh, in the beginning of April. So I need to do a new monthly setup next week. And I don't have anything in there at the moment, but I know that it's the 28th. So Monday... So it's my last week of thinking about fairy, so that's cool. And I found in my stash these two beautiful little fairy stickers that I was gifted. Was it Suzanne? Was it you, Suzanne, who gifted me these little fairies? And these like look like little girls that are dressing up as fairies. And I know my daughters used to love <laughs> dressing up as fairies when they were little. I remember making them fairy costumes. So I thought I would use these as a sort of focus for my decoration this week. So for my planning. So let me see if I can find some washi that will look nice. So that's one of my favourites that I'm always using. And that's a nice blue one. And then this one has got sort of more ready colours purpley colours. What about that one? That one looks quite nice with it. Maybe the spring blossom. 
So I'll get those out for now. Okay, let's see, how shall we start this one? I'm just going to pull out, I've got my folder here that the lovely Kiwi Penguin made for me. I love this so much, I have it on my desk. And let's see if I've got anything that would look nice. I don't want orange today with this. Oh, I can see a green, greeny coloured stamp. I think that looks nice with it so let's get those two for now and we've got some washi tape and all I need now is some paper so let's pull out some paper that's not really the right kind of green so what have we got here that's kind of cool I'm going to take a piece of that and just distress it a bit I think I'm going to stick that on the bottom. There. And then I want some more paper. Let me use some of this. I think that looks really nice with fairies. I really need to make myself some paper like with some sparkly stamping on because I think it looks so cool. Let's pop a bit of that on. And then let's go with that down there. my lovely sticker of the fairy I love her big oversized crown <laughs> and let's pop a little bit of the blue washi tape just on the bottom here just to go with her wings and then I could do with a to buy list or a to do list what shall I go with oops I'm going to go with to buy let's pop that under her crown if I can get it back off So it looks more like it's tied in. And then I want a little bit more washi. It's coming out okay, do you think? And a little bit more of the blue. blue here and do I want the blue stamp I think so I think that looks nice and this stamp is from Mississippi that's so cool and so here I have my place to put things I need to buy because there are a few things that I want to put on a to buy list this week. Oh, I just spelt it wrong. Why did I do that? Does anybody know where you can get a like white out that is a cream colour instead of white? Because mine is white, and so when I'm working on cream paper, it shows.
Well, I've made a right old mess of that, haven't I? I might do a sticker over the top. Because <laughs> that looks really scruffy. Oh, dear. Okay. I want to just add a little bit of washi at the top here. And a little bit of the blue. I kind of abandoned my green and yellow theme, haven't I? Because I just wanted to match my fairy sticker. And then I just need to write in a few little bits. So I have piano. My son is getting close to another piano exam. I think maybe the week after next. So he's got a piano lesson. School rehearsal, need to check who's picking up. So that's a school play rehearsal. And of course, karate and dance and dance. And my sister's coming over again on Saturday. And I'm having a walk in the park today so I might not get this video edited until tomorrow and then I'm visiting a friend and I'm going for a walk around a reservoir tomorrow I'm trying to improve my exercise. <laughs> so I take the dogs out every day anyway, but I'm trying to do some extra walking with my daughter and the baby so that she can start to improve her fitness again and it should help me improve my fitness again. So those are just my basics that I'm putting in and then I'll add in any appointments as I go. What do you think? I quite like how that page has turned out. So let's move on and do a meal plan. So I'm going to be using this sticker for my focus. So I'm going to take a red pencil this time. Okay, so I've just set up that page already for my meal plan. And let's decorate first. So I've got this sticker. And I'm trying to think what will look nice with that. I pulled out this washi. So I've got that. I've got a little distress ink pad in fire brick. So I might do some stamping. So I'm just going to grab my stamps. There's my stamps. And I've got some little sort of pinky coloured stickers in this box. Okay, I'll grab some paper which has got a slight pinky tinge to it. So I'm going to use some of that and do a little collage down here. Just got some Distress Ink. Oops. Just to go around the edges. There we go. glue that one on and find some stickers I like that label one <laughs> Ooh, and a rose let's go with that first really like these washi stickers because they're quite subtle. A little tiny bit there. And then I've got one of these book label. Might go with that one. That's off a ro that's off a roll of washi. There we go. And then my lovely little princess fairy. So nostalgic when you've had two daughters 
and then two granddaughters, all of whom have loved dressing up as fairies. Where shall I pop her? I'm going to pop her there. And then I think I want a little bit up there, sort of little decoration. Let's put some of this pretty... Is this called Secura Blossom? I think it's called Secura Blossom. A little bit of that. And another ticket. And then my little rose. There, and then I can add in some writing there if I want to. And now I just want to add a little bit of stamping. So what stamp shall I use? I think I'm just gonna use this little bit of ivy. And I've got some Distress Ink in Fired Brick, which I thought looks nice with these colours. I'm going to pop a little bit there. And these stamps are from the company, which is... MU. I don't know if you say MU or MU. I always say MU, but I don't really know what that is. MU or MU. But they do all the rub on the stickers as well. But they also do these little tiny stamp sets, which I think are really, really cute. I didn't quite stamp, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and my favourite one on here is this little ring stamp. It's like coffee cup rings. I really like. And let's pop that there. That's enough, isn't it? Don't want to go too crazy stamping away. Okay. And today, because I'm going out all day, I'm just going to do pasta with pesto and a side salad. And then tomorrow my bean and halloumi stew, which is such a favourite with the boys, they love it. So it's vegetarian but not vegan. If you eat cheese and you like halloumi cheese, that is really nice. I think it was a BBC Good Food recipe. So if you Google in bean and halloumi stew, you'll find it online. And I'd serve that with garlic bread. And then I think more pasta on Wednesday. I'm going to do a pasta bake. So bake in the oven and I think I'm going to do that with broccoli. And I'll decide on the day and see what other things I've got left in my fridge. I like sort of putting all my leftovers in a pasta bake. So I'll make some kind of sauce and then... I think I wanted to use up some broccoli. So yeah, maybe a white sauce. And then Thursday, I'm going to do chili. And I will serve that with yogurt and avocado. Avo, how do I spell it? Avocado. <laughs> and then I need to do my shopping. So let me just pop that. I've gone back to doing my half a week's. I didn't like the groceries coming at the weekend. So I need to do my grocery shopping on Thursday. And I want to do a video of my commonplace book for March because I've been having fun in that. So I'm going to do a video of my commonplace book. Looking forward to sharing that one. Okay, so all that I need to do now, just blot that off, all that I need to do now is my focus of the week for this week. And this is my last week with my hidden realm. 
deck of cards with all the fairies, all the beautiful, beautiful fairies. Oh, some of them seem to be upside down. I don't want many of them to be upside down. <laughs> I must have shuffled them strangely last week. Let me just pause and sort them out. Okay, I've got my cards all around the right way. I need to shuffle them now because I've just been looking at them all. And let's see if I get a card that looks pretty with my lovely tulips that are on my desk. <laughs> What's the chances? Some nice spring colours. I think I had one card this month that had spring colours. Okay, let's see what we get. Ooh. Now, I would say that those are autumn colours. So, for anybody on the other side of the <laughs> hemisphere who's decorating for autumn, those are the colours that you might be using. And it looks like I'll be using. And they're actually, it's really nice with my tulip. <laughs> so, let's decorate this page. Now, what can I find? I'm using bits out of here this week. So let's see if there's anything that looks nice with that card. Now, the Queen of Wands is all about being outgoing and charming and attractive. And she has a kind of, what expression would you call that on her face? Let me know in the comments what expression you think she has on her face. That stamp has those same kind of colours in it, so I might include that one. And then let's look in here, because I haven't used any autumn colours for a while, and see what we've got in here. I know I've got a washi tape that I really love that has autumn colours on it. Yes, this one, which has got the autumn leaves on. I think that looks really nice with it too. Oh, what have I pulled out there? And another one of those book labels. I think that colour looks nice. So, let's have a think. I just want a fairly neutral piece of paper. Oh, that one's quite neutral. So, let's take a piece of that. We'll collage again, and I think that would look nice with that fire brick. So I'll just glue that piece on, and a little bit of the washi. Oh, look, it's nearly all gone. I need to find some like this because I love it so much. down the bottom there and then my book label and then look back in here little ticket nice colour And a little bit of this washi, if I can find the end. And finally, my stamp. I think that looks nice together. What do you think? I always think my colleges look nice. Is that too much pride? I think it's just that I do what I like, don't I? It's not that I expect everybody else to think they're nice. So that is my focus of the week already. And do let me know what expression you think that is on her face because that might help me decide what to focus on. And I also need help remember on what to do on the page that I accidentally missed out. So that is my planning in my bullet journal for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Bye.